we need to start to look at people as human, not a label. Obviously, I'm gay. And I, I'm so proud of being who I am. But I'm a woman, I'm a human too, you know, and, and it's nobody's business who I'm sleeping with anyway. I mean, I don't know when I, come, I came out, but I think I came out when I was four years old. But <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's true, it's never been, I mean, I had boyfriend, but like it just, it's, uh, I think I always felt, you know, um, uh, that I wanted my life to be different. You know, coming out for me, you know, I think for many is an ongoing process. It's just you're coming out, you're showing yourself, you're presenting yourself and your authentic self um, to the greatest degree possible in a way that makes us feel safe and comfortable. Um, I feel like that's going to be just my life's work or part of my life's work. Um, it gets easier, but I will say that, um, you know, especially in the beginning, it was part one part liberating, one part really vulnerable and raw. And so um, having, you know, allies around me, having an ongoing bench of friends who are actually my like fiercest supporters has been, oh, that's been, that's been the liberating part. I never leave uh, with the fear of, of coming out. You know, like I never leave with that. I I'm, I just always live in the way that this is me, who I am. And it's almost like I don't, I don't care about, you know, what people think. Like in the context of coming out, I wish I knew that coming out would allow for me to realize possibilities in my life that I never thought possible. I feel like when I came out at work, I just was better at work. Um, I was actually uh, driving, you know, more of the stuff that I wanted to do. I was mm -hmm. making an impact. I was leading and that's because I didn't, I wasn't always having a filter on. Um, I wish I knew those things earlier on. Um, and that applies to other parts of my life. Like I wish I knew that if I just acknowledged who I was really early on, uh, that my life as an authentic human being would have started sooner. My advice would be go for it. It gets better if for no other reason than you've removed weight off your own shoulders. And that's the first step. The rest will come. I'm so proud of being a part of it because um, it's beautiful people, amazing people, and uh, misunderstood people, and and, um, and and I'm proud of being a part of it to uh, help you know other people to understand us. You know that at the end of the day, we like you. You know, we just we just, we're just human being, and we have. We have struggled, we have dreams, we have aspiration, uh, mm -hmm. we're creative. And, and the only thing that we, we want is to be loved also and accepted. And that's, that's, anybody wants that, you know? Yeah, and I would add to that by saying that I think that we're one of the most resilient global communities out there. Listen, like when you share a common experience, like coming out, and typically you have to do that over and over again. And again, coming out is self-defined. That process is always dependent on who you are, where you are, who your family is, how you grew up, all that stuff. But at the end of the day, um, still being able to come out as our authentic selves as a global community, that's pretty huge. Authenticity, I think it's, 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 it's the word that uh, we believe and, and this is the word that we live our life every day. And the problem right. is sometimes is people don't want us to be authentic. We are authentic and we always be authentic. And now we get to stay, take a stand that no one can tell us how to be. We are who we are and we, have need, we need to be accepted the way we are, you know? And I think that that would be a big step for people to do. But I think it would be an easy step also if you, if you have love in your heart. Yeah, and that's where our power comes from, is our resilience, our common experience. Power comes from authenticity, for sure. What I'm also taken by is those young 
uh, those youngsters uh, that LGBT, you know, and they, they, the way they, they speak and the way they think and it, 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 it's really inspiring too. And when you uh, uh, get together with, with, with this group of people sometimes, I, I know a few of them and I'm like, every time I have a conversation, I'm so inspired. And I know when I see them, I know that I need to do better in this world to be able to help them and to help their future. I love that. I'm in a wild agreement. I think um, oftentimes our role models and the people we learn from are right in front of us, um, whether right. it's yeah, our friends and family or uh, definitely our youth who are advocating for the rights of so many who don't have them. Um, it's it's energizing, it's, it's courage and action, and it's definitely something that, yeah, I learned from as well. I get to tell you, I think the LGBT uh, community is one of the most creative community in the world. And I believe that because, you know, often you get uh, creativity, creativity from suffering. And this community has been suffer for so, just a long time, but they, they're coming out, that's the world, with their own creativity and it's been quite amazing, you know, it's just, it's just it's such an amazing uh, community. So I think, you know, any company, especially in my industry, we need to welcome them, you know, we have to. But we gotta take we gotta start to take the label out because I don't think my industry is a safe place yet for women, uh, for people of color and definitely for the LGBT community and more. Uh, I mean I can tell you on my on my team it's like everybody is on my team from all over the world, any type, gender, whatever, you know, because they have they are amazing human and we need to start to look at people as human, not a label. If someone is, is is a different background or color skin, you know, we are human and it's nobody business who we want to love. And that is the thing when the world will come to a place about this is no one business, but our uh, own self business to know who we want to love, then the world would be so much better.